Hey there, so in this video I'm going to be talking about the Bitcoin stock to flow model or the, the this chart and it was created by this Twitter user Plan B. Now the reason why I'm talking about it is because the Bitcoin halving is coming up uh, sometime next month. It, the estimated date is the 12th of May and the reason why it's good to look at this or to become more familiar with it is because this is a model that can kind of project or predict. Well, I wouldn't say pr predict, but it can kind of project out to, to the future in, in terms of uh, looking at the price of, of Bitcoin. Now, this idea came about when uh, looking, when, when this person, Plan B, was looking at uh, gold. So gold also has a stock to flow model. And this person thought, oh, maybe I can use the stock to flow model for uh, Bitcoin as well. And that's how this sort of came about. Now, if you're not sure what the stock to flow model is, it's right down here. If you scroll down, you can figure it out or you can learn more about it. But basically, I've just kind of highlighted the key parts is the stock to flow is a number that shows how many years at the current production rate are required to achieve the current stock. The higher the number, the higher the price. So the stock to flow is defined as a relationship between production and current stock that is out there. So your stock to flow is stock divided by flow. So the stock to flow is the number that we get when we divide the total stock by yearly production which is flow, it tells us how many years are required at the current production rate in order to produce what's in the current stock. For example, gold has a production rate of 3,000 metric tons and the current stock in, whole, in the whole world is estimated to be 185,000 metric tons. If we put that into the, this formula, we have the stock, which is the amount in total, and this is the flow. This is how much would be produced per year. So it works out to be about 62. Now, if we look at Bitcoin, if we apply the same model, we have 18 million coins currently at the time of this writing, right? When this was written. And every year only right now, uh, about 657,000 Bitcoins are mined in one year. So that gives you a stock to flow of 27. So it takes 27 years just to mine this much. Now, obviously this will change because of the halving, right? So that's why I kind of brought this up. So if we look at this model here and, and we kind of uh, talk about the stock to flow, the next question is how does price play into this? Well, for myself, I'm not really, uh, to mathematical, right? So uh, for myself, I didn't really understand the calculations. Uh, you can find the calculations here. If you click on this, right? If you click on this uh, link, it'll bring you to this article here, this medium article. And then this person just kind of gives you the technical breakdown or the mathematical breakdown of it all here. Right, so I didn't understand that. Uh, so I, uh, for myself, I don't really understand it, but maybe you yourself understand it. But what happened was the person took uh, that model price, right? So the model price, which is this right here. So this is how the person came up with that, uh, I guess, equation. Right, so they're saying that if you take this and then you multiply by the stock to flow, right, then you can get your the value of the price. So, example, if you take the current stock to flow, and the reason why they say it's 17 million is because of uh, 1 million has been kind of locked up because of Satoshi Nakamoto and how a million coins of Satoshi hasn't been moved. So really, it has a higher stock to flow. So we can see that if we take that model here and we just kind of uh, multiply it by, uh, what is it? 
or, or basically if if you take this uh if you take this here you'll get this price and that is like what the the value should be right and and so yeah if you take this times the this to the exponent of that it'll give you this and if you look at the graph here the purple just as it says the the purple is the stock to flow for the 10 days, the stock to flow for 365 days. So I would say the blue line is a little bit more representative, right? So if you just kind of look at the price here, it just kind of follows this stock to, uh, stock to flow model, right? And I, I guess for yourself, if you're thinking of whether now is a good time to, to buy or not, maybe you can use this as a model. I'm not going to say that it should be your only model, but it can be a guide as to letting you know whether it's undervalued or overvalued in terms of when you want to purchase, right? So like example here, you can obviously see it deviates well above the stock to flow. Here, it's under, well under the stock to flow. So maybe here's a good time to be buying and, you know, example, here's a good time to be selling, right? So yeah, here is a model that you can potentially use to help you uh, figure out when is a good time to enter or exit uh, your position in Bitcoin. But yeah, well, I hope you found this video informative. And if you did, uh, please give it a thumbs up. If you think that there's someone who might get some value out of this, please share it. But yeah, other than that, Thanks for watching, and if you're interested in receiving notifications of my future videos, hit that subscribe button. But yeah, thanks, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.